All right, Nick, this is a uh, puzzle Richard and I worked on. It's based on the MD5 hash function over here and the idea of a left bit rotation. So we're going to do a little bit of rotating and we're also going to use the operation of addition. Now we're going to scale this down to 16-bit because 32-bit is, is so large and then we're not considering any of the operations that actually go into the MD5 and all the other algorithms, uh, SHA1 and SHA2 and so on and so forth. So basically what we did is we took just a very simple string of text, PIE, and we got this, this hash out or digest, uh, which is 0D5 or 3573 in decimal. So basically what we did is we looked at the ASCII two characters, P, I, and E. These are base 10. And then the hexadecimal base 16 values for the letters as well. And we just simply added these two together. So we added these two together here, and we got 00D9. And then we did a left rotation. So we just moved this over by one, and you'll see that here. And then once we got this value, then we just added the value of E on, which was 0065. So you add these two together, and you get this result here. This is our hash value or digest. So essentially, and, and it's kind of incredible if you think about uh, this word here, um, PIE, uh, is is represented as this this complex number 3573 so the idea is if you're given this number here uh, can you verify that it represents pi so here's the puzzle idea basically it's a very similar situation in that we've got some string of text represented in hexadecimal and we get we get this hash or digest out and so basically the hash is 0D79 or in decimal 3,449. So the question kind of is, gosh, what number um, does this match up to? And so in order to figure this out, they have to know something about the algorithm that we just, we just looked at. And so let's look at a couple of things here. This value here, of course, in decimal, I'm just going to look which one's bigger, 3328 and this value is 3449 so we're looking for this value right here question mark so we'll just subtract this guy from this guy and see what we come up with so 0d79 minus 0d00 and that gives us 0079 so 79 actually matches up to y from our ascii table so we know now that this guy here is why. Now to go from this step here to this step we did a left shift so we're just going to shift this guy here back to the right so we're going to get 0 0 D 0 and once we've got that of course we know that that goes here 0 0 D 0 and now we can just simply look at what this guy is. This value here is like 101 in decimal, and this is 208 in decimal. So we can just subtract again uh, this guy here from this guy. So we got 0, 0, D, 0, minus 0, 0, 6, 5. And we get 0, 0, 6, B. And from the ASCII table, 006B is K. So that goes here. And then actually, uh, you know, this guy right here, 0065, they can just directly look this up since it's base 16 on the ASCII table or 101 if they want to. And that represents this guy here is E. So now the text is K, E, and Y. Let me know if you have any questions implementing this into RPG Maker. Thanks.